This tutorial is about a concertina tower that appears in this book, Little Monsters. In this one it's designed as a tower that comes forward and gives you a kiss while you look at yourself in the mirrored shades there. It's an intriguing mechanism that I haven't seen anywhere else. In fact, the more you flex the book, the higher it goes. The only other place I saw it was in this mini version of the book where you have a a smaller version, a truncated version of the same thing um, where the kiss comes out to kiss you and you look at yourself in the, in the sunglasses. So I've had quite a lot of trouble working out the angles of these. I did make one that seemed to work quite well. It's this one here and the more you flex it the higher it goes. I'm not sure if I got the angles really right. The version I've come up with is this. These two sides, they're mirror images of each other. And then the whole opposite side is a, an exact replica of the, the first two. I started with this and then made a mirror version and then a, another two exactly the same. The angle I've got at the bottom is 82 degrees. So all these vertical line and here that's 82. And then you come on to the next one, 82 go along and between these two, 82, 82, and again here, 82, 82. So that is the one I've settled on for this version, but it could be 83, it could be 84. If this doesn't work really well, you can try, try experimenting, maybe even 85. And then the baseline I've taken is this one that is six centimeters. And so it's six, 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 six. Then I've measured up the side here, 1.7, 2, 2, 1, 2.3, 4. And then up this one, it goes 1, 1.3, 1 2.1, 7. Below this line, the 6 centimeter one, it goes down 1.7, and then 5 centimeters along the 6 centimeter line, there's a point, and you join that. This is going to be the tab that sticks the whole thing to the page. And it's the same here. You've got these measurements, then you've got these other ones. Then this is the same lot as the first one. So it's 2, 2, 1, 2 2.3, and then below the line, 1.7. And then again, on this one, you've got the same as this lot. 1, 1.3, 1 2.1, 7. Scored it all. Now I'll just cut it out really quickly. It's quite interesting. There's only one tab that sticks the whole thing together and then there's four that stick it onto the page. So I'll just fold those up. These ones, the first two that you do, this is the side you're looking at. So if you look at this, it's actually cut. The first two sides, you cut up those two and it will be the same here. You cut up those two. And then on the other side, below the short top line, you cut all the way up to here. And so that actually matches, you know, the way this is cut up to there. So then we'll just crease all those folds. Some of this folding is a little bit tricky. And ideally, all these folds, having folded them one way, you would fold them back on themselves to really crease them well so that everything moves as fluently as possible. There seem to be an awful lot of folds that need an awful lot of crimping really. Anyway, we'll get there. There we are, that's that side. I think, Let's see if I can do this as well. So first, glue the whole thing into the circular structure. The 
it should be able to go flat when you're gluing it just to make sure that it will ultimately go flat when it's on the page so it should go flat both ways as it's a completely symmetrical structure. So here's the base sheet. I stuck it, it doesn't really matter where you stick it, I think it can go you know fairly much in the middle of the page but I came up three centimeters from the bottom and then I measured two lines both at 60 degrees and then you stick down these two sides they're going to stick to the line the bottom crease is going to go to the line with the next section nearly touching the spine there could measure how far it is from the spine to see where the outer edge is it's seven centimeters so we'll come seven centimeters along here and seven Okay, stick it onto the line. I'm not quite happy. I'm going to move it in slightly, actually. I think maybe six and a half, six and three quarters. That's one side. Then we do the other one. So again, there's the seven. I'm going to put it slightly closer. And then you should be able to concertina it down. So we want to concertina up the other side as well. And then we can put glue on those other two tabs. Let them find their natural place to stick. So it would be like that. There we are. <sighs> right, now I put glue on those other two tabs so when I close it they'll find their natural sticking places. Not too bad. So let's compare it with the other one. They look pretty similar really. Now this type of mechanism, as we've seen, they do better if they're flexed. So there is a way of making a flexing base. So this is the type of base that you can see. It's like a floating plane, but it's got a hump in the middle. And so it's based on asymmetric parallel folds, which is tutorial six. And I've written the dimensions here from the spine to where it sticks down this is 10 and then it comes up 2 so from this gully the total is 12 and then there's a central pillar here that I made triple thickness as it does quite a lot of pushing up and that's three centimeters high and then the top bit is 9 so 3 plus 9 is 12 and on the bottom 10 plus 2 is 12 so that gives you the balance so that when you close it the whole thing closes now hopefully, if I stick this onto that, it'll help to flex it and make it stand up a bit more. So I'll just cut it right back to make a shape that'll just fit onto that one a bit more comfortably. Looks about right. So is that gonna fit on there? Yes, let's take a little bit more off. Put glue on both these sides. stick that onto there make sure the mountain fold is really flush in the gully there and we'll close the whole thing down and now when we open it that gives it a bit more bit more lift then we compare it to this other one which is on a 
normal base. I think it is a bit better. So there you have it, the concertina tower.